All right, everyone, I am in Springfield, Illinois, the capital city of the great state. I'm going to, or I'm heading towards a particular place of interest, a place I have always wanted to visit, and I'm excited to finally be able to do that. Now, uh, the place is Oak Ridge Cemetery. There's a pretty famous person buried there. Who do you think it is? You have probably already guessed. Abraham Lincoln. I wonder if it's hard to find his tomb. Lincoln tomb. Uh, well, no. <laughs> you can't miss that. I'm gonna guess that is it. Yeah. Wow, here it is. So this is where Abraham Lincoln is buried. This is his tomb, his final resting place. So I'm gonna start the video there. What do you guys think? If you're in Springfield, Illinois, that is the first place that you will probably want to visit. So, I'm going to do that. I'm going to show it to you guys so you can feel like you've been here yourself. Wow, I'm really uh, looking forward to it. All right, everyone, I am out on foot. I'm going to head over there. Let's take a good look at everything here. Welcome to the Lincoln Tomb. Here in the heart of our country, on the edge of the city he called home, is the final resting place of President Abraham Lincoln, his wife, and three of their children. Now, I haven't even made it to his tomb yet. It's right there. But this old Gothic, looks like a home. Yeah, Gothic architecture. Uh, definitely medieval era England. Uh, look at the turret there. I mean, it catches your eye. What is it? Well, I had to look it up. Built in 1895, this was the caretaker's house. The person who was in charge of the grounds here. Uh, I guess it's offices now. You can't go in there. Boy, you can't miss it. Anyway, uh, a bit of a crowd here, or at least there was. It looks like they have cleared off. And I now have the tomb to myself. Wow. So here I go. Uh, I'm going to show it to you guys. I'm going to show you all of it. Again, I'm excited to be this close to the great man. Now the first thing you see is this bust of Lincoln. Uh, this is a duplicate, I guess. I read about it. Uh, the original is in Washington, D.C. Yeah, that's cool. All right, let's go take a look. What do you guys think? Yeah, I'm below here. I guess maybe he's in, in here. Oh, I saw the lock and thought, I'm not going to be able to go in here, but here I am inside. Check it out. How cool is this? I had no idea all this was going to be under here. Enter. All right, let's enter. It's kind of like a museum. Uh, this is Lincoln as a soldier. Lincoln the Ranger. It's beautiful. One of his more famous images. Yeah, this is a duplicate of a statue in Chicago. I think uh, 
we all know of, have seen. That's phenomenal. What have we got here? Now this is it. This is where he's buried. Lincoln's remains rest in a vault 10 feet below, just behind the massive Arkansas Marble Monument before you. It says uh, his wife and three of their four sons are in crypts behind me. I'll show you that in a second. I'll show you one more shot of this. Where the children are. Okay. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, this is a. Uh, this is where his wife is. Well, there it is. It says uh, this. Is a duplicate of one in Hodgenville, Kentucky. Uh, Lincoln the Debater. Uh, it says the original of this statue is in Lincoln, Nebraska. One more. The original of this statue is in, what's that, Urbana, Illinois. So basically you just go around in a big square and you come out the other side. Well, all right. Uh, I'll tell you some more as I head up to the top here. Uh, Lincoln wasn't born here. He was born in Kentucky. Ah, Now that's disappointing. I was going to tell you all about Lincoln from up there. Thwarted. Uh, he came here to Springfield in his mid-twenties to be a lawyer. Now I was trying to find out what prestigious university he went to to get his law degree and uh, he didn't. Lincoln was self-taught. A self-taught lawyer. He spent 24 years here as a lawyer, uh, all the way up until he became president of the United States. And, uh, well, his life is chronicled a lot in this town. He's not born here, but he's very much a part of this city and there will be a lot more to see. I'm going to grab the wife later. We will tour the Capitol building and we will also tour Lincoln's Presidential Library and Museum. It looks fantastic. But first, I'm going to head into downtown, tell you about the city and look around a bit. So that's coming up next. Well, everyone, I am in downtown Springfield. That's the Capitol building. Later in the video, the wife and I will show you that. So stay tuned. But for now, I'm going to head into downtown Springfield. Show you around a bit. Check out a few of the sites, and there are some. I did get the drone up in the air. Uh, a bit a few shots. It's a little bit windy today, so I couldn't keep it up in the sky. But uh, as I tell you about the town, uh, I'm going to show you Springfield from the air. Now, let's see. Population 
in 2021, 114,000 people. Uh, let's see, the median age is 40. Gender ratio, 51 female, 249 male. Uh, race breakdown, let's see, 70% white, 19% black, 4% Asian, 3% Hispanic, and the remaining 4% is mixed or other. Let's see, uh, per capita income, 36300 that's about 700 a week. Median household income is almost 63,000 a year. That is 1,200 a week. Uh, so pretty good incomes here. Poverty is a little high, 21%. For children 17 and under, it's 34%. Cost of living here is very low though. Median home value, 140,100. That's pretty cheap for a, a large city. Let's see, crime. Crime's a little high. Uh, 47 incidents per 1,000. U.S. average is 23, so that's about twice higher than the U.S. average. I'm not gonna lie, I was surprised to see that. Uh, the town looks real nice. We've been here a couple days already. Now this is the old state capitol building. Built in uh, mid-1800s. It is where Lincoln declared his presidency. It is being refurbished at the moment and I can't go inside. Usually you can. But of course, when I come here, it's closed off. But anyway, we'll still look around. Now here behind me, is where Lincoln had his offices. What a great looking old building. Yeah, isn't that cool? Here we go. Abraham Lincoln prepared and wrote his first inaugural address as President of the United States in the third story of this building in 1861. So up there on the third floor, how freaking cool, am I right? That's so awesome. Let's see, it looks like we got a statue of Lincoln and Mary Todd. Pretty awesome. He was a tall guy, wasn't he? Anyway, really well developed here. It's nice, very nice. Great job by the city and the state. Anyway, let's see. <clears throat> it is a Wednesday, mid-March. Got some sun out finally. It's about 32 degrees though. That's zero Celsius. I didn't even have to look that up on the uh, conversion chart <laughs> because I already knew that one. Now here in downtown stands this, the first Presbyterian church built in 1828. This is the church that Lincoln and his family attended. Uh, let's see, there's a placard over here. Let's take a look. First Presbyterian church Organized 1828. Yeah, in the sanctuary of this First Presbyterian Church stands the original pew of Abraham Lincoln's family. Don't think I can go in though. I was going to go in and see uh, if I could show it to you. Definitely not that door. They've got a bigger door over here, but. Uh, we may be SOL, guys. That would have been cool to see, though, wouldn't it? Wouldn't it have? Yeah, there's no way to get inside here. Oh, well. Down the street from the Capitol building 
is this national park. I'm going to show it to you. Let me tell you about it first, or let's uh, read the placard. Lincoln Home National Historic Site, uh, part of the National Park System. This unit of the National Park Service preserves the home of the nation's 16th president, Abraham Lincoln, and the character of Lincoln's 1860 neighborhood. Lincoln lived in Springfield most of his adult life. Here he raised his family, developed his beliefs about freedom and equality, and attained the highest public office in the country. Ah, I'm trying to read, guys. Uh, I'm trying to talk, but uh, whew, my mouth is frozen. Anyway, yeah, we look at this. So this has been restored and kept to look the way it did when he lived here with his family, practicing law and running for president. Uh, these are the homes of his neighbors. His home is up here on the corner. I know that. Right there. I'm going to head that way now. Let's see. Okay. Uh, so this is his house right here. Looks like Lincoln lived pretty good. Uh, I knew he... Or I know that he was born in poverty, but he rose above that. That is uh, evident. Yeah, A. Lincoln. Wow, it's immaculate. Uh, the condition it's in. Well, I'll try to open the door. And it's locked. Can we see inside? There's the entryway. Wow, cool. <laughs> that is Lincoln and his third son, Willie, standing behind the fence. Can you see that? Right there in the middle, a frame. Yeah, and there's the house. You're standing in front of the house Abraham Lincoln and his family called home from 1844 to 1861. Wow, Lincoln's lived for 17 years in this house. Uh, here's a shot of the street with the sun behind me. Uh, there's Lincoln's house right there, right there in the middle of the frame. The uh, one that people are walking in front of right now. This place is so awesome. Uh, if you ever come here, this is one of the top places to visit. Absolutely. Did you know that they have a Frank Lloyd Wright house here? Yeah, it's called the Dana Thomas House. Built in 1904. Yeah, this is a big one. It is prairie school architecture basically that means it's designed to blend in with the prairie rural country yeah it's beautiful that's right here in the downtown area also yeah, it's downtown's right there so there's a lot to see here in Springfield. This is a good place to come visit for a few days. I would have never thought that, but it is. There's a lot to see and do here. Here's another look at the front of the house. So beautiful. He was such an interesting architect. Uh, Frank Lloyd Wright. Alright, so that will be the end of this part of the video. As I give you another glimpse of downtown Springfield, Illinois. Next up, I will go pick up the wifey Nicole. We will tour the capital of Illinois, the Capitol building. And we're also going to go to Lincoln's Library. 
And then after that, we are going to have an early dinner at a local restaurant. So, that's coming up right now. Well, I'm on the lawn of the Illinois State Capitol building. I'm over here because uh, this is the way the sun is shining to make it look its best. This is an impressive structure. Really looking forward to seeing the inside of it. Yes, wifey is with me. She's over there standing in the sun somewhere. I'll find her in a second. Just wanted to get this shot. Looks like um, they're doing a bit of a refurbish on the other side here. Can see some work being done. Um, woo! What a grand building. All right, I'm up the uh, front steps. Yeah, you can see the city there. Going to head inside. Go through security. Looks like the wife has uh, already went in. We are through security. Entering the main part of the building. Look, you can see how beautiful it is already. Look. Yeah. It's really pretty. One thing about capitals. Uh, all the real estate on the walls and the ceilings have something. <laughs> Paintings and murals. But I like, anyway. I like the pink marble though. Yeah. Anyway, uh, let's see what we got here in the middle. Illinois welcoming the world. And let's look up. What do you guys think? Should we look up and see the dome? There it is. Would you ever try to look up and spin around? Huh? <laughs> If you look up and spin around, it makes you dizzy right, like right away. <laughs> yeah. Look at all these statues around it. It's really beautiful. Well, first things first, let's go get yes. your book stand. Seriously. Your passport. You can't spin around more than once without getting like totally dizzy. <laughs> oh, I guess I know. because you're. I wouldn't even try. <laughs> anyway, let's go get your uh, let's go get your passport stamped. Okay. okay. All right. Passport getting stamped. Fantastic. Thank you. Yeah, let me see it. Perfect. There it is. <laughs> Illinois, right next to Indiana. Slowly but surely, filling that thing up. I think we're a little more than halfway. Yeah. Thanks, bud. Thank you very much. Well, we're going to take a bit of a look around. We're going to go up on the next floor. They got a bunch of statues there. Just, uh, give you another look. Coming in. It's a beautiful building, isn't it? Well, we are on the second floor now. The first statue that you see coming up the stairs is Lincoln which makes sense. Did you see whose office is on the second floor? Uh, J.B. Pritzker. <laughs> That's right, the governor. <laughs> you know that because I just told you. Yeah, J.B. Pritzker, his office, the governor. Uh, I totally knew that. You totally knew it, didn't I you? I totally knew it already. Doors locked, though. It's going to go in and have a talk. You know. I totally knew that already. But he would be like, uh, you're from Texas, I don't care what you have to say. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> anyway, we're going to go up to the third floor. Capitol buildings always have such great detail in everything, including light fixtures. <laughs> Isn't that awesome? Yeah, I want one of those for my man cave. Couldn't, I can't hear you, honey. There's too many voices coming down. I said I want one of these for my man cave. Oh. You can get that for me for Christmas, one of these. Next yeah, year. I'll break, I'll break in and steal it. Okay. Yeah, there's the dome. You can see it really well. See the uh, etchings around it? We'll zoom in a little closer. Amazing detail. Yeah. You got statues up here. 
way, way high up though. Yeah, I can't really see them that well, but they're, you know, they're watching over the state, if you will. The fathers of the great state of Illinois. Yeah, we'll take a look down where we were at the beginning. That's way down there. Pretty cool, huh? Yeah, this, this one has a beautiful dome. Okay. Yeah, there's not a lot else to see here. They have museums to see that basically tell the story of the state. Uh, a couple of them. We can only go to one, so we're going to go to the Lincoln Library. But they also have an Illinois State Museum that looks amazing as well. Oh, yeah? Anyway, all right. Well, we're going to head to the uh, Lincoln Library and Museum. Okay. We'll do that cool. right now. All right. All right, we're at Lincoln's Presidential Library and Museum. Uh, that's the library right there. And uh, we're going to enter to the museum. All right, we are inside. I'm going to show you the highlights. Starting with this. These are really lifelike, aren't they? <laughs> yeah, kind of. I mean, wow. These look like real people. I'll get a close-up of Lincoln himself. Yeah. And Mary Todd and their three sons. Mm-hmm. Looks pretty cool, doesn't it? I guess oh, this yeah, is does. young Abe here. Oh, yeah. Dreaming of being president. What do you think? No, nah, I don't know if he's Is that what he's dreaming of? I don't know. He loved to read, I know that. He's probably dreaming of the day he has indoor plumbing so he can, uh, you oh. know, take a bath and wash his clothes. Yeah, I'm sure he dreamed of that as well. <laughs> don't we all? <laughs> anyway, uh, so we're gonna go in here. Wow, it's like in another world already. You can hear the birds chirping. What is this I'm walking into, huh? His log cabin when he was a kid? Uh, it's supposed to be like his boyhood home, she said. Oh, wow. Wee, look at this. Yeah, I guess he read by the fire of the uh, fireplace. Hmm. And uh, I guess his parents slept there. Is that what's is going that, on here? And he is slept that on another a... bed? Is that two beds? Look, the dog's even making noise. <laughs> it's like, Rrr. Wow, the attention to detail. So what do they have hanging up there? What kind of... It's incredible, huh? What kind of meat do they have hanging up there? I don't know. This is something. Wow, these statues are so lifelike. Oh, okay. The slave auction block. Before the Civil War, a slave auction block such as this could often be found in major southern cities. Slaves were usually sold individually. Families were destroyed in the process. Hmm. I'd read he worked in a store when he was young. I guess that's what we're seeing here. Here is a telegraph that Lincoln made to his son when he was in college. See, July 14, 1863, and it reads, Why do I hear no more of you? Lincoln in his office. Yeah, it says here that Lincoln gave his sons, Willie and Tad, a lot of freedom. They were known to be a little wild. According to his law partner, these children would come to our office and take down books empty buckets, coal ashes, put them in a pile, then dance on the pile. And Lincoln would say nothing. <laughs> well, we're gonna go on Lincoln's second journey, the journey to the White House. Now, the first thing you see here is uh, Lincoln and uh, Mary's son, Willie, dying while in the White House. Oh, 
This is the White House kitchen in 1862. Uh, recreation. This is Lincoln and his cabinet, uh, a recreation or creation of what it might have looked like when he announced the Emancipation Proclamation and told them that his mind was made up, uh, he was going to do it. Yeah, it's a pretty striking picture. Make sure you get a good look at it. John Wilkes Booth. Sneaking in to assassinate Lincoln. Here is the marriage license of Abraham Lincoln and Mary Todd. Shouldn't be able to see that. Abraham Lincoln Presidential Library. We're going to go take a look at it next. Let's see what's in here. Well, we are in the library now. It's not a whole lot to it. Uh, the museum part's actually where you want to go. But I'm going to get a quick look at it. Several floors here. We're told we can only. Uh, be on the first floor. But uh, there's the library itself. They got a little bit of information on the walls. Well, there you go. Well, you can see the Capitol in the distance. We are at our fourth restaurant. <laughs> the first three we have went to said they are open online and they are closed they even, it even said it was open that last one was even open on the door according to the hours listed on the door yeah but said on the now. door that they were open but the doors were locked but this place is open obed and isaacs so we're starving we're going to finally get to eat oh thank, oh thank you yeah this place is uh crowded we got some folks here we have our drinks. I'm having a Dunkel Weizen, which is brewed right here in-house. It has shades of banana and chocolate. And you're having... I was going to say something, but that Evan Williams whiskey is not that good. That's what... Is it okay? Yeah, it's fine. Yeah, they don't have Jack Daniels, so she had to settle for Evan Williams. Anyway, we ordered potato cakes as an appetizer. Those are fried mashed potatoes. I love those. I haven't had them in forever. No? You ever tried them? I'll try it. I probably, I'll probably just have a bite. It's a quaint little bar, though. Yeah, it's kind of cool. Uh, our appetizer is here. Fried mashed potatoes. Yeah, fried mashed potatoes. They're huge. That is huge. We're going to take some of that potato back to the room. Potato peppers. Huh? You calling them fried mashed potatoes? That's what they're made of. They're called potato peppers. Yes, I know. Potato cakes. Yes, our potato cakes are huge. Well, they are pretty good. You can see the mashed potato on the inside. And topped with cheese and bacon. Of course, deep fried. And some chives. Even you're eating it. And you don't eat fried food. Not normally. But when it's an appetizer, I'll try it. Yeah, you're gobbling it down. 
Oh, okay. Our food is here. I'm having a corned beef sandwich with baked beans. And the baked beans are supposed to have a lot of bacon and onion. I hope so. That's the way I like them. You got a blackened salmon? I got a salmon salad. Yeah, blackened salmon. A salmon club. It's, it was called like a salmon. Yeah, it is blackened. It was called like a salmon club BLT or something like that. Okay, cool. All right, we're going to dig in and see if this is any good. Well, here's the verdict on the food. My sandwich is awesome. This uh, corned beef is house made. Uh, they make it right here. The beans, lots of onion and bacon, just the way I like them. How's your salmon? My salmon salad, it was awesome because like the salmon itself was nice and juicy and like the salad was great, it had the kind of greens I like and it has bacon on it too. And bacon you might... with a <laughs> yeah, salmon I know. salad. I know you were wondering about that but it, I actually liked it together. Yeah, bacon's so good on everything. But, hmm. but this isn't like, this is like dry bacon. Thank you. you know, I don't okay. know, it's still good. Well, well, it took us a while to find some food but at least it's good. Yeah, they have bread pudding on their dessert list, and one of our rules is we always get bread pudding no matter what, even if we're not hungry, which we're not. Yeah, doesn't matter. We're, huh? You had to do it. You had to order it. I had to get it, and it's really good. It is really pretty good. Awesome. All right, everyone. That's the end of this video. Uh, we had a nice time in Springfield, Illinois. Yep. And. Uh, Let's see, after this, I'm going to explore some small towns, and then after that, Gary, Indiana. So, be looking for those. Uh. Honest Old Abe, the people's choice.